So the January window has been and gone, and we've sold our starting goalkeeper. There's a reason for this. We'll show you all the transfers we've made in a bit. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Jelly TV. I am J Lab and this is Football Merger 2022. Our journey with Shadow R. We've sold our best goalkeeper, Alzabal. Despite the fact he conceded 40 goals in just 54 matches. So, there's a reason for this. Also, the fact he's now playing in the Premier League with QPR is actually interesting. But there's a reason I did this. And that is the fact that we had another goalkeeper we bought him For free transfer. And we had a bit too many goalkeepers. So, I thought, you know what? Let's see what we can get. And if... A 34-year-old goalkeeper could give us good money. We can get good money. But 1.8 million for Alisabel when we sell him for a free transfer, effectively? I like to think... Okay, 150,000. But given that we spent 150,000 and then sort of 1.8 million, I like to think that's a good deal, personally. Whether you agree with me or not depends on how you view it, but it's a profit either way. So we made a few signs. Hato signed for us officially on a free transfer. He's now worth between 5.6 to 8.2 million already. If we get that money for him, that's great. If we don't get the money and he just plays for us for a long time, that's great as well. We win every way here as far as I'm concerned. Unless he leaves in a free transfer in two years time. But again, I don't see him being that kind of player that gives us problems. And I see people wanting to splash in on this guy given how young he is and how much potential he's got. Now, the person we signed the free transfer is Santiago Mele. Now, he's a free transfer. His error reach is not as good as the goalkeeper we just let go, Alisabal. But, and I'm going to say this here now, I actually think that Alisabal is not as good as Mele, and Mele is actually a pretty good goalkeeper. He's also only 26. Alisabal is 34. Eight years his junior, so I like to think that despite his error reach not being as good, and despite some of his errors not being as good, that we've got a better goalkeeper than Mele now. Yes, the personality I'd love to keep around, but 1.8 million for a goalkeeper who was around that sort of price made sense. It really did. And Adrissi in Bay, we officially signed and sent back on loan to Nims. Again, 1.2 million. He's now worth between 18 and a half to 32. He's now worth between 18 and a half to 23 million. I like the thing this made a lot of sense. Even if my backroom staff wanted me to keep him around the first team, I think sending him on loan again is probably better for his development than anything else. And yeah, he's getting first in football. He would not get here, I like the thing. So it makes sense to send him out on loan again. Honestly, other than that move, there wasn't really anyone that we sold of significant value. Apart from maybe Sadio's going out on loan to Antwerp, but again, it's not a major move. He is still young. He's not really in the first team, despite the fact he played a few times for us this year, I think. But again, I don't think it's a major concern for me long term. Though we did almost sell Eli Dassa to Sheffield United for 5 million up front with her future fees of 10 million, but he turned them down. Now, I like to think. That it's because they're the championship and not a top flight team. It's my only reason I can think for why he turned them down. And again, honestly, it makes sense why he'll turn them down if that's the case. We are going to be losing Ryota Moika to Didimo Moscow at the end of the season. I didn't feel like we knew his contract. I'm going to be honest with you. 8.5 grand a week was really a squad player at best. And... Given that we got players ahead of him that will get more gain on him, it made sense to let him go. And you know what? He said in, at the end of the season, he's going to be going. He's going to his first team football, but he's not going to be with us next year. So should I be bothered? Still, we've had a few games since we last met. And let's go over those games, shall we? The first game we had since the Europa Conference League draw was confirmed. We took on court right and inside three minutes we were 1-0 up. Gustafsson with the finish, a very nice finish indeed. And it was a good thing to help us aim towards our 15th consecutive league win. And then we make it two after Lopez finds Moika. Moika with the finish 81 minutes. Before 84 minutes in, we make it three. Fonoda finds Moika. He's in again and he dinks the keeper this time. 
a very good finish and ensuring that we win our 15th straight league game to do really well for ourselves. Unfortunately for us, despite not letting our opponents have a single shot on goal, we drew our next game against OH11. I don't know how we drew this game when we had 16 shots on goal and next year 2.15. We had 9 shots on target though, 4 shots blocked and only 3 shots on target. We should have won this game and yet we didn't. We blew our chances to break the all-time record for most wins in a row in the league. Very disappointing, it must be said. The next game we had was against Centralindian and they beat us last time we took them on. So when we took the lead inside 9 minutes, thanks to Simon, it was really good. But then we make it to before half time. Yankov finds Noel Lopez. Lopez takes around the keeper and he makes it 2-0. Good goal. Before we make it 3, Sominola again involved in another goal, getting another assist, finds Ali, he finds back in the net with the first time effort, a very good finish, and we were very comfortable. 3-0 here, a game that we're happy we won, against a team we should never lose against, so disappointing to say the least. The next game we had was actually against Club Bruges, and inside 44 minutes we were 1-0 down. Going into the second half after, okay, okay, with the finish, I am saying that name wrong, I know. I don't know how else to say his name, but second half, we came out the tracks flying. Yanko scores inside 24 seconds to give us the equaliser. Good stuff. Before, a few minutes later, we make it 2-1. Sorinola places a cross, finds Lopez, it finds Yanko again, and Yanko has scored three goals, two goals in three minutes. Very good to see us do well. Then six minutes in, it's 3-1. Gustafsson finds Ali. Ali plays it across, finds Noel Lopez, he powers at home. We're 3-1 up now. Before we make it 4 from the corner, Govia takes it, Stefan scores it, and only 4 minutes in, we've completely turned against his head and destroyed La Bruges. A very good performance. We then took on our last opponents of the save uh, for the round of fixtures in Ustenade, and we scored the only goal thanks to Sogone's effort inside 49 minutes. A very good finish. And I think it's his first of the season, so good to see we can still score goals nicely. We even missed a penalty because Gustafsson missed it. I don't often say that, but there you go. We missed a penalty and we still won regardless. They had no shots on target. As things stand, the table looks like this. Our first points dropped in a very long time. Has been disappointing. There have been some teams that have played games before us because we are playing on Sunday. Some games are playing before us. Club Rouge are currently winning 2-0. Genk. Drew gets to the edge, so Club Bruges are looking like they could go above Genk now. Well, Anderlet just won the latest game against Antwerp because they can. And we can't fall any lower than 7th right now. So if we win, we're guaranteed to at least a top 6 finish, which is very nice indeed. Then through the end, are very much struggling now. And I think their early start has come back to bite them because they are, well being smashed by some teams it really is saying a lot but yes we're looking good and i'd like to think that our next opponents are ring are not going to deny us a victory again and we should build our lead even further and units are going to take on gent so if gent did do us a favor we could be 16 or 17 points clear at the top it's very nice indeed gent are very comfortably clear of genk and club bruges right now so really it's a two horse race for the title and even then that's been very kind on gent there Still swimming, we're taking on today, I like to think we can win, and we're going to do the perfect job, because we need to be winning these games, we really do. So, in goal is Mele, we've got Dasa, Hill, Stefan and Sonola in defence, we've got Zorgane in the DM position, Mark Gustafsson in midfield, we've got Ali and Yankov in the wings, before Noel Lopez completes the starting 11 in goal, Ronald Diaz is actually going to be on the bench today. I haven't really used him since he came back from his loan spell. But then again, he's also been a bit injured and on international duty. So, it's good to see him around. Bodart on the bench. The Winter, Govia, Simon, Moeka and Siawe also on the bench. So, I like to think we've got a good team here. And also, the reason why Wimakin is not on the bench is he's very tired. I don't know what he was doing, but apparently he was playing the under-20s game or something like that. Or under-21s game. So, he's tired from that. We also have this guy, Borsis, who is going to sign for us on a free transfer on his 18th birthday. So we've officially got him to sign 
he's good to have around and I think he'll give us an extra strength in the lineup if we don't send him out on loan of course but again good to have more players coming in I think we've got a good team here I really do either way let's take on our opponents and make sure we win shall we got a free kick Yankov to take it he's gone for goal and it's a good save in the end they got a throw and I don't think we're going to do well here I really do but here we are now Saro finds Fran Gemez and so gonna get it back. Really well done. Yankov now ball through to Lopez. No Lopez with a chance. Has to play it a wide, plays it back. Tornola, we know he can be really good. Best player in the league. Here's Gustafsson. He's been very patient from us. And Zogane finds Tornola. Good ball cross. No Lopez. 1 0. That's a very good cross, a very good finish. And you've got to say here and now, even though we're forced out wide initially we are very good with making sure we can do a good job here and that is important this first time cross from Zona is ridiculous and the fact it's so accurate is with it's amazing it really is another throw and last another throw we scored so i'm expecting another goal here as club Bruton now freeno up matt with with the finish and it's a penalty for their point of view but here we are now looking to ensure we get a second goal We've got to get the, get the ball back first, haven't we? So, Cisse, under it, and here we go. Lassini, okay. Ball through to Diasso. Or Diasso. Or this. I, I, I swear, I'm getting his name wrong all the time. But here we are now. Uh, Cisse on the ball again. We are not doing well defensively, are we? Here's Fran Gamez. They've got a very much got a narrow system in place, and Fran Gamez finds Cisse. And we get the ball back. Here we go. Sonora finds Yankov. Yankov, what a ball through to Lopez. If Lopez doesn't score from this, it's disappointing. But he scores from it. And that's a very good goal. The fact we just hit them on the counter so easily is ridiculous. We win the ball back from their own attack. They, we waited them out. Sonora, the Yankov, what a delivery this is to Lopez. If there's one thing I can say... We are very versatile of our goals. We can be very short passing. We can be direct. We know how to score goals, and it's lovely. We've now got a throw. It was a long highlight last time, but every time it seems to be a throw right now, it seems to be a goal for us, and I think it's like the same again. But Marco, no, he's, he's in the trend. Never mind. We can't get it now. They got a free kick now, and Polly. Actually, it was last time. Every time they start with a throw or a set piece, we get the goal, though. So who knows? Here's Melee. And it's now a good chance here. Zawanola. Or Zawanola, sorry. Yankov. Gustafsson. Zawanola again. And Yankov once more. Ball through. Not the best ball to Lopez. And could be questionable there. What we're trying. But it's worked before twice now. So I can't question it. But that's not a good ball for their point of view. Dasa has been booked. I just realised he's been booked. He's playing the ball through. To, as trying to find Ali. Didn't work. But Lopez gets there and scores. He's intercepted a bat pass and it's not worked. Well, Sereng have been absolutely destroyed by Noel Lopez today. And we are going to win the league. We've got 70 points as things stand if we win this game. Eight points off what we did in our first season. That was our best season in terms of the normal campaign. But this is ridiculous. What are they doing? And yeah, 3-0 at half time. We've been very good in this game corner now Yankov to take it he's gonna try and find Stefan he has and he's put it wide oh well and now Sonola finds Zogane here's Gustafsson Zogane Stefan and now it's Yankov and now Zonola ball through to Yankov who can play the cross finds Gustafsson oh good save in the end oh and now Hill Stefan Hill again and Gustafsson Yankov Zonola Oh, no, no. Good ball to Yankov, actually. And this could be dangerous. It's been played in the middle, but it's been cleared away. Only as far as Hill now. And you've got to say, we are in firm control here. It's almost too easy for us, isn't it? But melee, ball forward. I wasn't sure what he was trying to do with that. But we're going to get the ball back again. Even when we're making mistakes, we get get the ball back easily. Zoinola on the ball. Still going. That's not a penalty. That's not in the area. And it's a foul. But I don't think it's a penalty. If that's a penalty, I'd be amazed. No penalty. I didn't think it was. And in the end, we win this game 3-0. Very comfortable in the end. Lopez's first ever hatchet for us has been enough to get all three points.
It really has been. We even gave Diaz his debut today, which is something I've been meaning to do for a while, but I didn't find a good opportunity until today to do so. So it's good to be winning, isn't it? And yes, as things stand, we have won comfortably and we are 17 points clear, having played a game more than Gent. So who knows what's going to happen now as Diaz also makes his debut. And Yankov is now finally very, very good in that his new role. That is perfect. I've been looking forward to seeing him actually be natural as a winger. That's really good to see. We've now gone 20 games unbeaten and that's very, very good. I've, I hate the fact that they are still going to talk about the fact we got knocked out of the Conky Cup very early again. But it's something that will be brought up every now and again now, won't it? And Gent Drew, with 16 points clear, with 9 games to go in the league. We'll be back next time for Valencia. A double header with Valencia. We've got Antwerp and Gent between those two games, so... Yeah, we're going to be back for that. But in the meantime, I'm going to end this here. I hope you guys enjoy yourselves. I hope you guys like and share this video. And that you subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out a lot. But either way, until next time, goodbye. And well, good night.